what's up welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be reviewing and demoing for you guys the new well it's not so new anymore but it's new for me the new wet n wild photo focus foundation I'm also going to be showing you guys the wet n wild photo focus concealer so I've been trying to track down this foundation for so long I've not found it in stores near me until very recently so I finally picked it up to try for you guys and see what all the hype is about because apparently everybody loves it for the most part I'm gonna try it for you guys I'm going to use two ways of applying it a beauty blender and a brush so let's get to the demo and review alright so you're zoomed into my face and as you can see I don't have a ton to cover up but I do have some like pimples here and discoloration and things we're going to fix so I'm going to take the concealer and do that first put it on the areas where I need a little more help always around my mouth is just weird and discolored let me know if you have any ideas of how to fix that because it is really obnoxious to me. This side seems to be getting better. That's nice because I'm using a special product that I'll be reviewing pretty soon that is getting rid of that stupid stuff. So I'm just going to take this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and gently buff it in. Can you see already the difference? Like it really covers really really can I say really more it covers really nicely you don't even need foundation but this foundation I have heard is really great and covers and is just like magic in a bottle pretty much this concealer is really great covers up everything I mean it's just a good overall concealer and on the days I don't want to wear foundation I just slap some of this on, some blush, highlight, mascara, and that's pretty much all I need. Alright, now that I think I have my concealer on pretty nicely, first I'm going to take my sponge and apply it on this side. Got to shake this up, I think. Does it say shake it up? Usually you shake it up. What I've seen when people open the bottle is that there's like, oh it's weird, hard to open. Okay. It's like one of those twisty thingies, but it's a little tricky. Ooh, it has a nice little spatula thing. So, I don't know if you're supposed to just like apply it straight to your face, but that's what I'm gonna do. A lot comes out just on this little wand. You probably don't need that much. I'm going to use my beauty blender to blend it and let you know how it's blending. Wow, that is nice. It's literally melting into my skin and blending like a dream. The real test will be if it oxidizes on me because a lot of the times foundations, especially light foundations because I have because I'm so light, I have to find a good foundation that doesn't oxidize. So, we'll see if this oxidizes or not. And if it does, that would be a bummer. But so far, it is really blending in nicely. This is the side with the foundation, side without. This has really evened out my skin tone, just made it super glowy and healthy looking. I mean it feels pretty lightweight on my skin. It feels like a luminous kind of foundation so it's not a matte formula by any means but so far it just looks really nice on my skin and I have a lot of redness right here that it did pretty well at covering up. The next side I'm going to use a brush. I'm going to use the same kind of little spatula thing. My nose is the hardest place to have any product. It does not like to absorb product at all. So it should be interesting to see 
if it does. Seriously, a lot comes out, so I mean, you really don't need that much to cover your whole face. It's really good coverage. So I'm just gonna take my brush and push in the product. Okay, with the brush I'm feeling like it's a little bit more of a kinda cakey coverage. So I don't know if it's because I just used too much or what the deal is, but. So I have a lot of discoloration up here from like being tan up there because that's like the only place my body tans. <laughs> but it covered it up pretty well. So I'm just getting a nice even coverage overall. That is the side applied with the brush. I feel like it is a lot more cakey and, I don't know, a little bit more than I like. Lately I've been just like not even wearing foundation and just kind of letting my natural skin through, which I really love. So this kind of just made my face look like it has a mask. I like this side a lot more. It isn't as full coverage, so if you want it to be full coverage, then I would use a brush, but with my skin, it's not liking it the best with the brush. And it's not fully dry yet. <laughs> you can still feel it's a little bit wet. As far as coverage goes, man, it's got coverage. It's actually a very full coverage foundation if you're looking for that. I think I like this side a lot better. It's just kind of more light. You can still kind of see like a nice glow underneath, like your nice natural glow. So I really like that. It's not super dewy, but it is a little bit dewy. We'll see when I wear it if it's going to last all day. I'll let you know because I do have oily combination skin. I'll put down in the description box a little update from after I wear this. And don't you love my bags? Like they're they're on they're on fleek for sure. So I'm gonna add a little bit underneath my eyes. I'm going to use my finger. It dries fast, so you really have to get it work with it fast. The foundation a little bit wet still on the side I applied the brush, pretty much dry on the side I applied with the sponge. But this is the concealer I use every day. It brightens it up quite a bit. I still have these stupid bags, but only sleep can get rid of those, right? That's how the concealer looks under my eyes. It does get rid of that darkness and discoloration. I usually use my NYX Dark Circle Corrector. I'm just using the concealer on its own. I'm going to take some MAC powder in NW15 and just set it. That's how it looks with the concealer and everything. Let's zoom out and show you the whole thing. So that's how the foundation looks from further away. It does seem like it's kind of oxidizing a little bit. I would say if you're looking for a full coverage foundation that is cheap and is going to do the trick to even out your skin tone and all that, this is a great option. I would really highly suggest using a beauty blender to apply it. Otherwise you get cake face. Overall, it's a pretty good foundation. I don't know if it's like life changing or anything, but I do really like it when you apply it very lightly. I probably applied too much <laughs> product, so maybe next time I'll try just a little bit, but if you use a little bit too much, you kind of get a kind of cake, cake on your face. That's for sure. And the concealer is even better. I use this every day and I love it, love it, love it. It is so cheap. It's probably like three or four dollars at the drugstore. So this is a really good option if you're looking for something that is full coverage and is just an overall nice concealer. I'm going to do the rest of my face and I will be right back and tell you my final thoughts. Alright, I am back. I have the rest of my makeup on 
and still loving this side more. It does feel like it has oxidized quite a bit. I need to look at a mirror, but yeah, I feel like it has oxidized a lot on my skin, which is kind of a bummer. So it does look a little bit different from my neck to my face. So I feel like if you use it with a light hand and not use a lot of product, it probably will not cake up as much as it did on me, but not loving the side that I use the brush on. I mean, I feel like there might be better foundations out there, but low-end foundations are really hard to find that are going to work. I've heard so many glowing reviews of this foundation, so I'm kind of disappointed. The side I use with the sponge does look a little bit better than the other side. With the oxidizing on my skin and how it's kind of settling into my fine lines, kind of a bummer. It might be because I didn't set it with powder, but I wanted to really see how it just worked on its own. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. That always helps me out. And hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already to be notified when I upload. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!